Let's take a look here at Google Chrome Scenario 1. As a veteran Spanish teacher, Rosa has accumulated many great online resources over the years. She always bookmarks websites she thinks can help uh, make a lesson more engaging. <clears throat> Uh, doing this has made her Chrome bookmarks very crowded and unorganized, and it's getting to the point where she struggles to find websites. To better organize her bookmarks, Rosa opens the bookmark manager and uses the search function to find um, and delete old websites that she doesn't use anymore. For the bookmarks she plans to keep, she renames them and <clears throat> so they're easy to search and recognize. To make them easier to access, Rosa organizes sites that have similar themes or uses into folders that act as drop-down menus uh, on the Chrome bookmarks bar. Uh, so let's take a look uh, at how uh, Rosa is going to use uh, bookmarks in Chrome and make it much more organized. So here across the top, we have a, we can see some of the websites that she has bookmarked. So if I click on the three little dots here in the top right corner here of Chrome, I'm over here to bookmarks, and I can go here, over here to bookmark manager. So this will open up in a new tab. It shows me all the ones that I have saved here. So uh, in this case here, here's one here called How to Teach Spanish 12 Steps. And if we click on the three little dots, it gives us some, some information on, um, <clears throat> or more options on, on what to do with this bookmark. So this is a very long uh, title there. Maybe uh, if I click Edit, I can rename it so it's easier to, uh, <clears throat> that's easier for me to find understand. So I can maybe call this, 12 steps. Click save. And now you see that bookmark right there. It's been it's shorter and it's easier for me to understand. If I go back <clears throat> staying here in the bookmark bar, I can also dra I can drag and drop these into the um, um and, and, and in a different order. In addition, I can also click on the three dots here in the top right corner, and I can add a new folder. So check out what happens here. So maybe I want to have uh, a folder for Spanish programs. And I click Save. So now I have a folder here. So uh, these two right here are actually programs here, Duolingo and Babbel. I'm going to go ahead and rename these really quickly to make it easier to understand here. So I'm just going to have it titled Duolingo. Save. And then this one is Babbel. Go. And I want these to be in my Spanish programs folder. So I, I can drag and drop these in here. Just like that. So now when you, when you take a look here, it says Spanish programs. When I click on it, it's a drop down menu. Now I have them organized. So it makes uh, organizing uh, my uh, <coughs> my uh, bookmark bar a lot, a lot easier now. So you, you, you again to into review, if you click on three dots here, you can go to add new folder, and then you're able to create a folder and then drag them into folders. And when it appears up here on your on your bookmarks bar, you click on it and it gives you a drop down menu. So a great way to organize. We also have a uh, have a search right here. So if you if you end up getting so many bookmarks and you you just you can't see at a glance, open your bookmarks uh, manager like we have here, and I can type in here. 12 steps. Oh, there it is. And it helps you find it very quickly. So that's another way to the bookmark manager can help you find, use, and organize uh, all the bookmarks you use when browsing in Google Chrome.